Hey guys, welcome back to Mishmas. We are on day 18, I believe. Is it day 18? I just got a straight up haul for you. When I was in Hawaii last week, I received a bunch of packages and I placed a few orders before I left and they came in. Anyway, we'll talk about all of it. I will talk about the things that I ordered myself uh, in the beginning of this video and then we'll switch over to things that I've received in PR. So let's go ahead and get started. I uh, made a, like a really random purchase at Nordstrom, uh, mainly because I I am um, like one of the things I want to do in 2020 is just start doing different things with my hair. I feel like my hair always looks the same. And when you're editing yourself day after day after day, it, it's like mine, not only is editing mind numbing, but it's like really, really mind numbing to see you basically look the same. Like all of my video clips, I feel like it's like my face and like a different top and a different top and a different top. And I'm like, girl, you gotta do something different with your hair. So I've been playing around with like curling it and stuff. I'm gonna try and wear it, uh, not not like this, this is not a good look, but um, you know, try wearing like different hairstyles or whatever, basically just kind of pay attention to my hair. Anyway, so I've been playing around with a lot of different tools. So I thought I would pick up one from Nordstrom. So this is, look at this festive bag from Nordstrom. Isn't this so cute? Look at that reindeer so okay i got two things let me talk about this hair thing first so i decided to pick up the ghd platinum plus uh one inch smart styler so this is basically oh there's a picture over here so this is basically like a flat iron it comes in like a case which i thought was really cool like if i really end up liking this i can bring it with me isn't that neat so let's take a look at this guy here oh yeah so there is the tool in there so long story short i was watching a youtuber um use this to curl her hair and i thought you know what i think i'm gonna like this a little bit better than like i've been playing with curling irons i've been playing with like wands um i played with a different straightener that I didn't really like. Anyway, I think I'm gonna come up with like a hair care video soon and I can talk all about it then. But this I definitely wanna try because, because my hair is so long, when you use a curling iron, you have to do it like twice to get the entire shaft of hair. And with these, you can kind of like twist it and then like, I don't know, like run your hair through it and it'll curl it as it goes down. And I feel like that's probably better for longer hair. Anyway, I got this to try it out and yeah, and I wanna do that hair care video sometime during Mishmas. So keep an eye out for that and I will definitely report back. I used a wand in this hair. Anyway, I have many thoughts. They'll be in the hair care video. Stay tuned for that. And then I also really wanted to try this new Chanel face scrub. Um, and I am someone that suffers from really bad eczema. So I can't use like acids to um, exfoliate my face. I have to use uh, like physical exfoliants, which I know a lot of people are opposed to, but that's the only kind of exfoliator I can use. And as far as I understand it, this one only has physical exfoliants. I'm just looking at the ingredients here quickly. There's phytic acid all the way at the end. I don't know what kind of acid that is, but anyway, it's all the way at the end, so I probably don't have to worry too much about it. But it has um, like vanilla seed as like the little scrubby bits in there. So I really wanted to try this. It just looked really cool and it looked really cool because I think, I think this is what I've been seeing online. I think this is the one that looks like it's like a black gel. So this is the box that comes in. So it's a sublimage face scrub, beautiful gold box. And oh, isn't this bottle pretty? Oh yes. So here it is. Wow, isn't that pretty all right so here is the little top Ooh, how cool is that oh and it's like like a jelly okay for some reason i thought it was going to smell like vanilla it doesn't really that is what it looks like oh yeah nice scrubby bits they don't feel harsh though but those black bits like i'm assuming is the vanilla bean and the fragrance of it it's like a very, very subtle version of like the Chanel scent. I really wish this smelled like vanilla though. That would really bring the whole experience home. But the fragrance is really light. So that is fine by me. Oh, well, I'm really excited for this. I will definitely report back. I just finished my La Mer. Um, it's like the exfoliator oil. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like a really thick oil with exfoliator scrubbies in there. 
I really like that exfoliator. But when I saw this one, I wanted to try something different. So I'll report back on this. I mean, the packaging alone is like amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, the next thing I picked up uh, was at Sephora during their like $25 off 75, something like that, $20 off 75, whatever. They're like little gift, like one time use code. Anyway, I took advantage of this before I left for Hawaii and decided to get the Tom Ford Face Protect Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I cannot remember who recommended this to me. Like, I can't even remember if it was someone in real life or someone on YouTube. I just, I can't remember. That's how shoddy my memory is. I decided to pick this up before Hawaii and I brought it with me to Hawaii and it's fine. I think it's a very nice SPF 50. I got like zero color, so I think it did a pretty good job, but I will mention that it utilizes chemical sunscreens in there. It has avobenzone, um, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene and oxybenzone. So I'm like 99% sure that all of those are chemical sunscreens versus physical. So there was no white cast or anything like that. And it did a good job sun protecting. So here is the texture of the sunscreen. So it's like a very, very light lotion. So it went on my face like really, really smoothly, really, really quickly. You can see it just kind of disappears to nothing. Like it actually smells really nice. It's just very, very faint. So I appreciated that. So I enjoyed this SPF and I do think it was very effective, but I don't know if I need to run out and get it again, but it was very nice. I also picked up the new Tweed blush from Chanel. So they came out with the Tweed pink blush. And this was another thing that I purchased uh, before I left for Hawaii. So I just didn't get a chance to show you guys, but I do want to do a video, maybe like on this blush in particular, but kind of like show you all the Chanel blushes in my collection and see if there's anything uh, kind of remotely similar to this. But this is such a pretty blush. It's a very, very light pink. It comes with this brush. And the Tweed Beige blush is like one of my all time favorite blushes like ever. And so when I saw this one, I decided I needed to get it as well. But it is very, very light in color. So it's definitely fair skin friendly. I think if you have anything deeper than like a light skin color, this is probably not gonna show up on you. It may actually work more as a cool toned highlighter for deeper skin tones, but it's definitely not gonna work as a blush. It is very, very light. So hopefully I can squeeze in a video during Mishmas um, for this blush and maybe like, I don't know, like a Chanel blush collection video, something like that. I think a few of you actually have asked me uh, for like a Chanel blush collection video. So I would like to do that and it'd be nice to do it kind of around this new one. So that is the Chanel Tweed Pink Blush. And I did pick this up off of the Chanel.com site. I believe it's exclusive to them at the moment. And then Neiman Marcus was having, <laughs> it's like impossible to remember all of the uh, promotions all of these stores were having, but Neiman Marcus was having, I think it was $50 off a $200 purchase. So I was able to get a cart that was exactly $200. I was like, yes. <laughs> I was like so, so excited. So I decided to get another Diptyque Photobot candle because I burned through mine and it's actually a brush holder now. Uh, but I decided to go with like the bigger, this is really heavy too, the bigger size that comes in the gray like tinted glass. So that is, this guy right here. And this is the one that smells like wood smoke. It smells like a campfire. It smells like the wood burning fireplaces in the West Village. Such a nostalgic scent for me. And my husband loves this too. Every time I light one of these candles, he always comments. He's like, oh, he's like, I just love that smell. And then I also picked up another Retrove Luminous Cleansing Elixir. I like to get these when I get a discount, any chance I can get. But this Luminous Cleansing Elixir of theirs is like a, my all time favorite second cleanse at the end of the day after I've removed, after I've removed all my makeup, I just like use two pumps of this all over my face. And then I take a warm washcloth and just like wipe it all off and it just, it just leaves my skin feeling so, so soft and smooth, but not oily in any way. It's so good. So, so good. This is probably like the eighth one I've purchased at this point. So that was a re-up. And then the last thing I got at Neiman Marcus was another Trish McAvoy Intense Gel Eyeliner. When I talked about my favorite eyeliners, um, I talked about Arabian Nights, which is like this really vibrant navy blue color. And I thought, you know, I really do love, love, love these eyeliners. So I thought, why not just get another one? And I got the color um, Deep Aubergine. So it's basically like 
a red toned chocolatey brown color. But these eyeliners are amazing. They don't budge, they don't smudge, they don't do anything. And they glide on like so, so smoothly and so softly, like you'd think they would smudge immediately, but they set down completely. And these are one of those pencils that you have to sharpen, which I actually prefer. So these are just great, great eyeliners. And it comes with a little sharpener. I think I mistakenly threw out my other one in my Arabian Nights box, because it's at one end of the box. All right, and the last thing I picked up is this Holly Frog Tashmu Water Lily Nourishing Milky Wash. This is a brand that I had never heard of, but my very good friend here on YouTube, Stephanie Marie, she got, I think like a whole box of their stuff and was talking about like the pros and cons of all the different ones. And she convinced me to get this Milky Wash. I was like, no, no, I have really sensitive skin. It's eczema prone. She was like, trust me, try the Milky Wash. And I was like, okay, I will try it. So I ordered it, I checked out the ingredients, it all looks like copacetic in terms of like my eczema. And I purchased this off of Derm Store and they were having a deal then. I don't know if it was like a Black Friday deal or if it was a Holly Frog deal. I don't know. I don't know what it was. But again, I'll link it down below if you're interested in taking a look. But I believe this brand is either like natural or organic. One of those. Yes, it has soothing, non-fragrant botanical extracts, gently removes makeup and debris, not your natural hydration. Made only with skin-loving ingredients, we left out anything that could potentially send your skin on an irritation spiral, including essential oils and sulfates. So that really spoke to me, and it was just super cute. Wait, let me show you this bottle. Look how cute that bottle is. Isn't that so fun? Um, the pH is five. A wash that keeps you calm, conditioning and nourishing. It leaves skin feeling healthy and soft, never tight. So music to my ears, I'm so excited. Oh, how cute. And then like inside the box, there's like this cute like artwork. Isn't that adorable? Well, I'm really excited to give this a shot. So again, I will report back. All right, so that is it for all the things that I've purchased. I'm gonna move into all the things that I've received in PR. And I'm gonna start with Scott Barnes. He sent me actually a voice message over Instagram <laughs> thanking me for the video that I did on his four palettes, the natural eyeshadow palette and then the three face palettes. And I told him how much I loved his products. I thought they were really, really great. And he went ahead and sent me the Color Bomb eyeshadow palette along with his pro brush set. So in yesterday's video, my top five Tuesdays, I mentioned how I used this color bomb and I used all the brushes. So definitely keep an eye out for that. My Scott Barnes video will be coming on Saturday and I'm gonna be talking about all of these very interesting brushes. Like I have never used a teeny, teeny, tiny fan brush for my eyes. And when I tell you these brushes are weighty, they are weighty. But yeah, here are all of the brushes. And in my video on Saturday, I will go through all of them except for these two precision uh, brushes. I just couldn't figure out where I could use them. But they're like the very kind of like firm, like eyeliner type brushes. And I was having a lot of fun playing with uh, these two. So I just didn't really have room for those. But anyway, that video is coming on Saturday. But let me just quickly show you this Color Bomb palette. When I was done, with the four palettes that I had originally ordered, I was like, I am getting that Color Bomb palette. I don't care if it's colors I would never use. I just love his eyeshadow so much. And when I took a closer look at this palette, you know, these two columns are actually fairly neutral. And then we have some more neutral shades here. That's not that crazy. That's not that crazy. Like the minority of this palette are really super bright colors. So anyway, I was really excited to play around with this palette. I'm gonna continue to play around with this palette. But again, that video is coming. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And a huge, huge thank you to Scott Barnes for sending this to me. And an even bigger thank you for that voice message over Instagram. I can't tell you how much that meant to me. It was so, so nice to hear your voice and you're amazing. Thank you so, so much. Next up, Charlotte Tilbury sent me a really nice, like kind of end of the year thank you present. And this came while I was in Hawaii. And while I was in Hawaii, I ordered that Stone Rose instant look in a palette face palette. And so I got both of these boxes and I had no idea what the second one was. I was like, did I order two? I was so confused and pleasant, very pleasantly surprised that it was actually a gift from her. So it came in this really lovely gift box with this ribbon. I've already opened it because I thought it was something I ordered accidentally. And it came with this card, may all your beauty dreams come true. I love that lipstick rocket. <laughs> I think that's so cool. 
and it just says um, happy holidays may all your beauty dreams come true sending you lots of love light and magic for the year ahead so I thought that was really nice. So she sent over the luxury palette of pops in, I think this is Celestial Eyes. Yes, Celestial Eyes. I already have this quad, so I'm gonna be putting this into a giveaway, which is coming soon. Definitely subscribe down below if you're interested in giveaways. Um, so that will definitely be in there. Um, there's also this Beauty Glow set. So this comes with the Beauty Light Wand, um, like the cream highlighter, and then a Wonder Glow primer. I have both of those products as well. So this is gonna go into the giveaway too. So thank you very much, Charlotte. And then finally, I got one of these mini hot lips charms, a trio of new mini hot lips shades. And I, th and I think I have all the shades in here. Well, there's JK Magic, which is like one of my favorites. Viva La Vergara, and then Amazing Amal, which I don't have. But you know what? I'm going to put this in the giveaway as well because y'all know I don't need any more lipstick. So let me see if I can. Oh, there we go. Oh, yay. All right. So all of these Charlotte Tilbury things will be in my giveaway. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Definitely coming soon. And a huge, huge thank you to Charlotte Tilbury for these gifts. Thank you so, so much. And then next up, I have something from Kogendo. This is their The Perfect Finish set. And I believe this is something that they have for the holidays. And I believe, I'm not sure, but I think this is only available on their site. I will link to everything down below in my description box. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and open this up because I am very curious about these brushes. Ooh, awesome. So this is one of their foundation brushes, but it's rounded. I have, and one of my favorite foundation brushes, which is really dirty, but there are other foundation brushes. Oh, this is actually what they call the buffing brush. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's the buffing brush. And then they have this fan brush, which is, ooh, a really nice substantial fan brush. Look how thick that is. Lovely. And then we have, which powder is this? Their face powder. Let me get this out here. Ooh, nice. So this is their My Fanchi face powder. There's no artificial colors, synthetic fragrance, mineral oil, or paraben. Finely milled translucent setting powder for a natural and flawless finish. Apply powder to set foundation. So this powder I have, I'm gonna put this into the giveaway, um, but I'm gonna hold on to these brushes and maybe do like a demo of these Kogendo brushes, because these are amazing. But you'll find this set available on their site for sure. And again, I'll link to anywhere else you may be able to find them. And then next I got this um, awesome package from Kosas. So they sent me, oh my gosh, they sent me so much stuff. So they sent me a couple of their uh, tinted face oils. I have six and seven. I think these may be two deep for me. And I still need to do another video on the Kosas tinted oils because it did not work for me the first time, but so many of you love it. I really want to give it another shot and I still have it. So this is going to go into my giveaway. And then they also sent over two of their lip fuels. So this one is like a tinted version of the lip fuel. This one I believe is clear. And they sent one over to me previously, but I think it's a different color. Yeah, they sent over Rush before, which is more of a rose, and then this one is Pulse, which is more of a nude. So I'm definitely gonna hold on to Pulse because I definitely wanna check out that color, but I'm gonna throw the clear one into the giveaway <laughs> because I have a lot of lip balm and if I don't give that away, it's just gonna sit in my drawer. They also sent over some of their new 10 second eyeshadows. I've been really, really curious about this. So they sent over Copper Halo. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like really liquidy. Hold on. I have to read the description. Shake well before use. Sweep over clean dry lids and blend with finger, doe foot, or eyeshadow brush to desired color. Oh my God. I'm so fascinated right now. It's like really liquidy. Oh, wow. Holy smokes, does this dry down completely? It's visionary pigment suspended in fluid for modern wash of color. How interesting. I figured something that watery was going to be thin, but it's really, really pigmented. All right, I'm gonna leave this on my hand for a while because I wanna see how it dries down. Um, so that's Copper Halo. And then they also sent over Fahrenheit. Ooh, Fahrenheit's like this wine color. Ooh, all right, there's Fahrenheit. Wow, that's pretty. 
and great for the holidays. Wow. All right, I'm going to let these two sit here uh, while we move on. I just want to see how they set down. Um, so those are the 10 second eyeshadows. I guess it takes 10 seconds to dry down. Okay, I think it's been 10 seconds. Let's try the copper halo. Oh, can you see? So a little bit rubs off, but it pretty much stays put. Oh, you can see like a little bit of it kind of comes off. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna let this Fahrenheit like really dry down. I wanna see if maybe the copper halo was a little premature. The Fahrenheit doesn't have micro glitters in there, so you can see it even looks a little bit matte. Okay, let's leave that there for now and take a look at what else they sent over. They also sent over, what is this? The Wet Lip Oil Gloss. Ooh, this sounds right up my alley. So they sent over Jellyfish and Malibu. Wow, look at this packaging. This time I've never seen a top like this before. How cool. So this one is jellyfish. Okay, the eyeshadows don't smell good. I like just watched the jellyfish right next to it and I was like, is that the jellyfish? No, the eyeshadows don't smell good. This has like kind of like a minty, like a chocolate minty kind of scent to it. Oh, pretty. So this jellyfish, it's pretty much like a clear. You guys aren't really gonna see that, but there's jellyfish and they also sent over Malibu. And here is the Malibu color. Ooh, pretty. All right, so these are the wet, what are these called? Wet Lip Oil Gloss, fun. All right, I am ready to see how this Fahrenheit has set. So rubbing my finger on it, I can pick up some pigment, but very little. So they pretty much set down like 99%. Very cool. They also sent over some weightless lip color. I have Royal and Fringe. Let's take a look at Fringe here. Ooh, look at Fringe. That's like a burnt brick red color. I'm not swatching them yet because they may go into my giveaway. Ooh, pretty. This one's a little bit lighter than Fringe. All right, I'm gonna put Royal into the giveaway and I will try Fringe out. And I will hold on to Fringe and hopefully I'll be able to use it in like a trying new makeup video soon. And then finally they sent over some of their color and light like blush and highlight duos. One is Pressed, which is Contra Chroma. Ooh, this looks, this looks beautiful. This looks right up my alley. And then the other one is a cream in Helios. Let's see what this one looks like. Ooh, fun. This is like very, very warm toned. Ooh, wow. How exciting. A huge thank you to Kosas for all of these goodies. These look absolutely amazing and I cannot wait to try all these products. Thank you so, so much. All right, last but certainly not least, House of Siage sent over, I believe, a Christmas set that they have on their website, but I think they included a card, so let me read that to you. We are so excited to share with you our holiday lipstick set. It includes our shades Queen and Baron, plus our Red Bow lipstick case, perfect for the festive season. Oh my gosh. Available now at, oh, Bloomingdale's and House of Siage. So I will link to everything down below, and this is the little card that they sent over, isn't that adorable? Of course, they're impeccable, impeccable packaging. All right, so this is what the box looks like. It's got this magnetic flap here. Look at that, oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. And the lipstick um, case, the, the actual like case case, is definitely special for the holiday season because I think they either use like black or white for all of their cases, but this is absolutely amazing. And they have a red satin pouch on the inside for even more protection of your case. And then here is the red case. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it goes so well with the Christian Cowan one. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Oh, wow. And then the two refills are over here. Oh, just stunning. Thank you so, so much to House of Siage for this gorgeous set. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. Thank you so, so much. So that is it for this haul video. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.